Hey everybody, welcome back to the show, to the channel, to the another weekend video with the Linux cast fellow Matt trying to explain something he knows nothing about. <laughs> Alright, so uh, about two weeks ago or so I did a, a video about how I went through and moved all of my key bindings from I, my i3 config to an SXHKD config. Um, and today I'm going to show you a bit about how to, you could go about doing that for yourself. Now this is a standard Arco Linux installed right here in VirtualBox. Um, and it's just an i3 thing. Now if you know Arco at all, you know... Oops. Forgot I'm not on ZSH. You'll know that the config file is huge mongus. It's huge. It has a, over a thousand lines in it. And now a lot of these are comments comments. And you can get you can you know you can delete those things you know, very easily. And that just you know that just removed forty lines. Um six sixty nine lines, excuse me. And so you can move a lot remove a lot of that stuff. But what about the key bindings? The What's great about SXHKD is a lot, if you use multiple window managers, you can take one file and have all your um, key bindings in that file, and that will allow you to switch back and forth, and your will allow your uh, key bindings to kind of follow you around. So, how would you go about setting that up? Uh, I'm not gonna. This is not a in-depth tutorial on how to take every single key binding over from the like, i3 config to an SXHKD, I'm just going to do several smaller ones. So, we'll open up another, another terminal here. You, first you need to do is install pack, install SXHKD. Now if you're on Arch, that's sudo pacman dash s SXHKD, and then I already have this installed so I don't need to go through and install it again, but that's how you do it. The next thing you'll want to do is you want to do go to your i3 config and go into auto where it says the auto start um, for applications here, and you'll want to make sure that you have this in here. So exec underscore always sxhkd, okay? And then um, some sometimes you'll need to put an ampersand after it. Um, I don't think we actually need to do that here this time, but we'll see. Um, if we do, uh, we save that, hit control R, now SXHKD is actually running. Um, now what we need to do is make cd into our .config file, okay, and make a directory SXHKD, and we want to cd into that SXHKD, and we need to touch we need to create a file called sxhkdrc and then vim into that vim sxhkdrc okay and then this is this is the config file that sxhkd will run off from so the first thing you we want to make sure we add is the a key binding to, to reset the RC file for SXHKD. So we do do it this way. Super plus escape and then pkill kill dash usr one dash x SXHKD. Okay? And then we want we want to make we want to move term in this case we want to move the term terminal key binding over here. Super plus return termite. Okay, and we want to run D menu over here. So super plus shift plus D D menu run. Okay, and we want to move. The kill command over here, so super plus Q. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. So anything that's an i3 specific command, um, you need to use i3 dash dash msg 
and then the command you want to run. Um, so we want uh, say we want to uh, let's see here. One one of the other things you want to run uh, put in here is to move between different workspaces. So super plus curly brackets one through nine. Chances are you have ten uh, workspaces, so you'll want to add the zero after a comma, and then curly brackets, and then tab over i3 dash msg workspace curly bracket one through nine comma ten curly bracket, and that's it. Okay, um, and you can do that for any. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video, so I'm not exactly sure where <laughs> I left off. Um, so we were talking about i3 dash message, I think. Um, any i3 specific uh, command has to start with this. So let's go up here and find a couple examples. Um, so this full screen toggle. If you wanted to put that into your your SXHKD config, you'd have to uh, do mod plus F I and then I three dash MSG full screen toggle. That's really as simple as as it gets, and you can move any. Um, key binding that you want over to your SXHKD file, the only things that have to stay are this one here that sets the super key. That has to stay and then uh, the one oh I have to, where is it? Right. It's the one that switches between tabs. Not but switch between modes, but switches between tabs. I can't find it. It's here somewhere. It's gonna be up. It's gonna be up. Yes, yeah, this one right here. This next previous workspace part here, uh, mod plus tab, mod plus search plus tab, mod plus tab. Those have to stay. If you delete those four lines, your i3 won't load. It won't, well, it won't load properly at least. Um, so those have to stay. Everything else. That is a key binding can be transferred over easy as you like. It's just a matter of transferring them over and making sure that you have in this file here that exec underscore always sxhkd. That way sxhkd will be running, you know, every time you start a Pi 3. And that's how you do it. It's really that simple. As I said, those, those are the main points you have to have to remember. Those four lines that I just showed you have to stay in. Um, the syntax here has to be correct. So it's it's always uh, the key key binding, and then tab, and then the command. So for example, let's do mod plus w Firefox. You could do that. Um, it's for web browser. Um, it's really quite simple. Um, and it's not hard. It just takes a little while. And what you want to do is before you go through and try this, you'll want to make sure you what I would, what I did when I transferred mine over is when I transfer something over from i3 to the SXHKDRC, I commented it out instead of deleting it. That way, I knew that it worked. Once I knew that it worked for sure, I could go through and delete it. Um, that's why I do, and I, and I did it one, one command at a time to make sure that I. I mean, if anybody knows me, you'll know that I mistype things all the time, so um, I make sure. It, I made sure that I didn't delete the command from i3. I just commented it out before until I, at least I knew it worked. Anyways, that is it for us this time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to uh, answer them as best as my ability. I'm not an expert by any means. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a subscribe, and we'll see you next time.